We're down here in South Miami, fishing the canal system for these exotic peacock bass. You know, it's not often that you'll see us fish in fresh water, but this is the exception. These fish are just so colorful, they're aggressive, exotic, and really a ton of fun to catch. We've spent most of the morning sight fishing. You know, we've been fishing the perimeter of these lakes. Carlos has been up on the polling platform with his eagle eyes. He's picked these fish off right up on the surface and literally just catching them one after another. However, there's gonna be times, there's gonna be occasions and conditions that are just aren't really conducive to sight fishing. You know, may it be cloud cover, maybe uh, it's gotten a little breezy and there's some ripples on the surface. That's when you wanna focus your effort on some of these deeper parts of the lake. These lakes were cut out by the Army Corps of Engineers 50, 60 years ago. They'll average anywhere from five to 12 feet deep. And there's a lot of little limestone ledges and kind of little pockets and holes. And these fish will hang right on those ledges. But you know, you can't catch them on the same baits that you're using when you're sight fishing them. Because again, that's only a few inches of water. So you need some lures that have, you know, some the ability to really swim deeper. You don't have to come out here with a ton of baits, but make sure that you're ready for every circumstance. Have a couple of top water baits because you'll catch these fish on top water plugs, on prop baits. They're real aggressive, they'll hit those. Have a couple of lures that swim down to, you know, two to four feet. And then have some baits that will swim even deeper, five to eight feet. Right now I'm throwing a Rapala scatter wrap, and this lure will penetrate, you know, eight, maybe even 10 feet if I reel it fast enough. So again, it's always a good idea to cover all of the bases. It really is, you know, and be ready for any circumstance. And I'll tell you what, one thing's for sure, you can't catch them if you don't have a bait in the water, that's for sure.